Hello guys, earlier I did a video on this awesome model DuckDB NSQL 7 billion which can be used to generate SQL queries from natural language text. We got it installed in our previous video, we played around with it and we saw that how good it was when it comes to generating NC SQL or any type of SQL for any database. In this video, we will be installing a MySQL database locally and then by using Llama Index SQL Engine, we will create a sort of text to SQL pipeline locally and privately by using Llama Index, Olama and using this DuckDB and SQL 7 billion. We will also be interacting with a real-time database which would be MySQL in this case but of course you can use any database of your choice as long as it supports structured query language or SQL. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest tool to run large language models locally. I have done heaps of videos on it so I would highly suggest that you go through them and simply install it locally very very easy to install all you need to do is to click on this download from there for example if you're using linux just run this command and it is going to install olama on your system similarly on windows there is a very simple installer and same is the case with mac os llama index is a framework which enables you to create llm applications which are production ready and it provides a lot of abstractions out of the box and we will also see it i will try to keep this tutorial as easy as possible so we will be starting from scratch locally and then we will build upon it so the goal is to use this model DuckDB and sql to interact with our database by using natural language so let's get right into it let me take you to my local system where i am running ubuntu 20.2.04 I have one GPU card of 22 GB of VRAM. You should be okay with even 16 GB of VRAM for this demo. Let me clear the screen. First step we need to do is to install MySQL database. In order to do that, let's first refresh our system libraries. That shouldn't take too long. That is done. Now let's install MySQL and in order to install MySQL all you need to do is to run this command sudo apt install mysql dash server and it is going to install it on your local system just press capital Y here let me try to put it on the screen so just type capital Y here and then press enter it is going to install mysql server on your local system And MySQL is installed. You can also check the service of the status if you like. Let me put the command here. I think you can simply check it with your sudo system CTL. If you want to start it, you can start it, but I think it already started. So let me quickly check. There you go. So it is active and running, and we are all good. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's try to log into MySQL. You see that is a SQL prompt and there are few pre steps which you need to which we need to do for example we need to some set some of the root user password that is a default password of it so you can try running this command which is going to set it this because it's a test system so i'm not worrying about that much about password strength here so that is done let's exit from here and now we need to run this mysql secure installation script you can just enter the password i'm just going to give it the password which is above press y i think i'm just going to enter zero here i don't really care about it for now and i'm just going to press enter here and i'm just going to press enter here press enter and press enter Again, you just need to press enter here. Or maybe reload privilege tables now. Maybe I'll just go with enter. That is fine. Okay, so all done. Let's clear the screen. 
So this is the default steps which you need to do. Of course, for production environment, you would need to do a bit better, but that is fine. And by this, you can log into the root user. Just give it the password which we set above. And now you can simply set the auth socket one so that you don't have to worry about it. And let's also create a new user which we will be using in our application because I don't want to use root user. So I'm just creating a new user called as my LLM. That is done. And we can assign all the options to this user in MySQL. So I'm just granting my LLM all the options on everything. Of course, you want to use it on your production database. Let's flash the privileges to reset everything. And then we can exit from here. Let's clear the screen. And now you can log in with your my LLM user, which we have just created. And then give it the password which you have set. There you go. So the password is this. Let's create a dummy database here. I'm just going to call it my database. This is just for the testing purposes. Let's use this database because you need to use the database in MySQL to get it activated. And then let's create a let's dummy table called as my table. Let's insert some of the rows, dummy rows. That is done. Five records have been inserted into this. And then let's exit from here. Let's clear the screen. And then just to make sure everything is running. So MySQL is running here. Let's clear the screen. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I already have installed Olama and I already have showed you how to install it. So if you don't have it, just make sure that you have Olama installed at this time. Let me do Olama list to see which models are there. You can see I have Mistral model. So I don't uh, I don't need this. I need the DuckDB and SQL model. So all you need to do here is to run this command Olama run DuckDB dash and SQL. It is going to download the model in the forms of layers and then it is going to run it. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. So DuckDB model is running. Everything looks good. You can even test it. You can just say, um, give me a SQL command to select all rows from a table EMP. There you go, you see. So what we want to use it in our code. So I'm just going to quit from here. Or what was that? Buy. Okay, so that is cool. Let's clear the screen. So up till this point, we have our MySQL database running. We have our Olama running with the model. So two pieces of the puzzles are done. Now we need to configure our application. For that, I would highly suggest first thing we do, we install these libraries so because we will be using Llama index with Olama. So we have specified Llama index, LLMs, Olama, SQL Alchemy. And because we will be calling this MySQL from our Python, program so we'll be using that and some of the embeddings because we would need to convert our natural language prompt into numerical representation so that is where we use embedding models let's press enter and it is going to install all of this stuff on our local system so let's wait for it to finish and don't worry about these commands i'm going to put all of these commands in my blog and i will drop the link to the blog in video description so that you can copy paste and run the same command. All the libraries are installed. Let me clear the screen. Let's create a directory called as maybe um, our LLM app. We need to that directory. Let's clear the screen and let's create a file called as dbconfig.py and this is where I'm going to put all the password and stuff. You can even put it on your interpreter but it's always good idea to just put everything the database user and password localhost and everything in this file but we will import it in our program let's save it that's all done and dusted so now let's fire up our python interpreter and here what we will do we will first import some of the stuff like this db config which we have just created hopefully it was yeah that is done and then we can 
import the database engine and text from uh, this li uh, li Python library called as SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy is a Python library which maps the database tables and objects to Python classes and objects. So it is sort of an object relational mapping tool. Uh, pretty handy by the way, used very very frequently. Next up, let's import the Olama libraries from Llama index. Llama is imported and then next up, let's import SQL database from Llama index. All the libraries are imported now. Let's create a function which is going to simply get the connection from our database by using MySQL and PyMySQL library and using the credentials which we have saved in that dbconfig file. That is done. Next up, let's initialize our model with Olama. And you can see that I'm just using Olama library from Llama index and then specifying the model. And then if we couldn't find it, it will time out in 30 seconds. So let's run it. That is done. And next you can simply just check with which model has been selected by doing LLM dot model. And you see that it has selected our DuckDB and SQL. Next up, I have just specified our embedding model by settings dot embed. And you can see that it is downloading that embedding model from hugging face. And this is the model it has downloaded. Next up, let's press enter a few times. And then we are just specifying our engine for the SQL that has been stored in the engine variable. And then I am specifying that table is what my table. And this is what I am going to use. Next up, let's specify our SQL database by using SQL database module from Llama index, which gets integrated with our MySQL. And these are the table it will be accessing. Of course, you can make it dynamic. You can specify as many tables as you like. So let's initialize our SQL database and engine. Both the query engine and SQL engine are initialized as you can see here. And this is all you needed to do in terms of setup. Now you can ask your questions from the database just in natural language like this. And then Llama index is going to um, convert it into embeddings and then ask it from the model which you are running. So simply plus enter here. We have stored our query in this query string. And then you can simply call that query engine which we have defined with that model and stuff as you can see and then it will going to get the response and store it in this response variable that is done took slightly few seconds and then let's print the sql query so you see our prompt was natural language for number of emails llama index took it and then with the help of our DuckDB and SQL model, it has converted it into this query that how many emails are there. You can also check out uh, from the model as what exactly it is going to return if you run that query. And there you go. So this is your result, which will be returned by the above query. So this is our email and this is a group by clause, which is grouping every email. And it, it is telling us that every email just appear one time in our table now if you want to run that query in the database with the same llama index just open a with block and then within this with block we have just opened that connection and we are passing the above query which we got from response and then you can simply paste it here and then you can start printing out the result within this with block that is all you need to do and there you go. So because we are just printing the first result, so it has returned us the first result. So if you look, if you just sit back and then think what has happened here is that we installed a large language model, which was DuckDB in SQL. We already had our database, MySQL. And then by using Llama index, we integrated our database with our large language model. We supplied a query string, which is simply a query in our natural language. We used Llama index to convert that natural language text into 
a SQL query by using that model. Llama index took care of it. We didn't have to worry about any embedding, anything like that. And from there, we took that query and we ran that query generated by the model within that database. And that is our result. So you can build any database application powered by large language model, all locally, all privately, and all for free, just like this. How good is that? You can replace this MySQL, MySQL database with your SQL server or with Oracle or any other database, even the NoSQL ones. And you can simply ask this uh, model to generate the queries for you. And I have just shown you as an example, the simple ones, but feel free to play around with it, with any sort of uh, child parent relationship, no matter how many uh, sub queries you have, no matter how much complex your query is, you can simply use it with this model. So amazing model, I already, I have talked about this model in my previous video. So if you want to know more about the architecture of this model and all the details, please have a look there. I'm more than sure you'll like it. Just search with DuckDB and you should be able to find it. That's it, guys. Let me know what do you think. Uh, really, again, heads off to this model, to Olama and to Llama Index for being so awesome and giving us these tools to create these sort of intelligent more, uh, applications really and easily that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching